be locking in the house in my room. Gotta make a pretty doll. She don't like when cold. Just left call call. No care lock. I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a pussy with some ice cream. She remember you. Ice cube make a gym. She ever like the way you do. Sitting with the crew. I got to get some food. I see you looking like you do. Had to make a move. Make a move. What up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. Got another Rikers Island story for that ass. I don't know if I expressed it enough, so I'm gonna express it again. The fact that, first of all, welcome to the channel. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I wanna reiterate the fact that. I spent a year and a half on Rikers Island and end up going up north to complete a one to three bid for a crime that I technically didn't even do. So all of the time I spent on Rikers Island, all of the times where I got a foot stuck up my ass, times I got jumped, sideline, lips busted, uh, nose busted, Busted, almost broke, uh, uh, um, offering to fade big giant Spanish niggas and losing the fight, getting punched in my head, getting lumps in my head, back of my head, forehead, speed knots and all that, getting my eye closed and all that. I suffered all of that. And also, you know, I did my own fair share of ass kicking myself. But, you know, I ain't going to lie. Uh, I lost more fights than I won. But I had heart the entire time. But I went through this amount of violence and this amount of oppression for a crime that I didn't even commit. Technically. Technically, I did not commit this crime, you know. I don't know how many of y'all because, you know, I've just reached a 16,000 subscriber milestone. Thank you to all of you who watch my videos. But I don't know how many of y'all know that. Or rather, I don't know how many of y'all know how I caught my charge. And I'm going to go into detail, right? I caught my charge being a young, stupid kid. Two weeks after my 17th birthday. You know, I was actively in the streets. Still robbing people. But mostly fighting people, beating people up, starting fights every single day. I got into it with some DDP niggas, you know, inside school. And and they said, hey, we coming to stab you up, you and everybody, you know. So I had a couple dudes from my school, I mean, a couple dudes from my building pull up every single day after school. And, you know, we was mobbed up. And I ended up starting a fight which turned out to be a riot outside of a Wendy's across the street from my building. Now, in the middle of the melee, yes, I did seriously injure a man. Yes, I did. Um, uh, almost thought I killed him. You know, me and my co-defendant, Smooth Killer, we, we kind of like wrestling move, like slammed him on his neck. I lifted him, lifted him up in the air myself and dad that came and helped give extra force to it and we slammed him mad hard on the concrete he hit his neck he laid still for like five seconds you know what i'm saying and then someone else came kicked him in the face and then he got up and then he ran away and he dropped some stuff in the middle of the melee for real for real all i did was kick some ass I started a riot, I kicked some buttons, he dropped some stuff, but I was already on probation for a year already, coming home from juvie, you know what I'm saying, Horizons and spot for, for robbery, so I wasn't really robbing nobody at the time, for real, for real, but I was outside, you know, starting fights and stuff like that, you know, like, getting guns, shooting guns at the top of the roof, trying to scare people, you know what I'm saying, with the homies and stuff like that, but... That's all I was doing. But in the middle of the melee, the dude drops this nice golden chain. And a girl, a girl who was in my class 
who I know, I can say her name now. Her name is Portia. We went to the same school or whatever. She picked up the chain. She picked up the chain. She told everyone she picked up the chain. She ended up cashing out the chain, getting money. I got no PC from it. I ended up getting locked up for attempted gang assault, which became a robbery, right? I was locked up the whole time for robbery. Once I got around 15 months, they said, hey, listen, we gonna change this charge to an assault. This will be a violent felony. You come home 20 months, after 20 months, since you have to have 20 months, and you'll have two years post release supervision, or you could cop out to this one and third to three. We're gonna bring this robbery down to a non violent robbery. You only have one year of a uh, um, one year of parole, and you know what I'm saying, and and you'll be done after that. But it'll be non violent. If you if you take the non violent charge, you get a no. They said if you cop out and you go home earlier, of copping out to the to the wait no no no, they wanted me to cop out to a two flat for an assault. The assault was going to be a violent felony, but I was going to come home a couple months earlier. But then I had the option of maybe doing like an extra six or 10 months, only six if I get my good time. And they said that'd be dropped to a low, I mean a non-violent robbery. And you'll come home, you'll only have one year parole. They said, but here's the trick. This is what my non-paid lawyer told me. You cop out to the robbery, you come home early, but you'll have you I mean, you cop out to the assault, you'll come home early, but you'll have a violent felony on your case. And if you catch another violent charge, we can increase your time, double your time, give you more than the minimum, this, that, and the third, which scared me, me knowing nothing about the law, because honestly, I felt like I was going to come home and still be heavy in the streets, you feel me? So I'm like, it's very much a chance that I'll come home, shoot somebody. I don't want to already have a violent felony and then catch another violent felony. Cause you know, I was still like, my mind was still like warped. You know what I'm saying? I was awakening a little bit, but my mind was still kind of like warped. So what I did was I copped out to the robbery that I did not do. Mind you, it was, I seen the footage of the whole melee. They clearly showed me starting it. They clearly showed me you know what I'm saying? Doing all the bad stuff I was doing. Me and all my men's and dudes who was from my school that participated in the fight, who they never got locked up. So I, it's safe to say that they ratted, you know? Uh, but me and all my men's and other dudes from school doing what we was doing, we always caught. But it did not show me robbing anyone. I could have copped out to the assault, but I was under impression, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go home. I'm going to go home, I'm going to have clout, I'm going to have clout on the block in Cortland and it's dudes from the hood who came to jail, seen me putting in work, I'm going to be dumb lit and I'm going to be back in the streets, you know, I was already beating niggas up, so what I'm going to do when I go home, now I'm going to start shooting people, right, that's kind of like what I was thinking, so I ends up copping out to the robbery because I didn't want to come home with a violent felony, right. I had no idea I would even be this person today and be fully like, like, not immersed in active street slash gang activities, you know what I'm saying? So I end up copping out to a felony that I didn't even commit. I didn't even commit, you know what I'm saying? And thus, I spent one to three years going through a tremendous amount of trauma trauma being impeded on myself trauma that I impeded on other people you know just 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 you know me being forced to be a total savage version of myself to either eat or be eaten 
You know, I also, I also honed, is that the word I'm looking for? I also, no, I also forged some strong brotherhoods with some people who I still love like brothers today. You know, a um, couple of them are known to be rats now. I don't talk to them no more. Uh, but, but I ended up going through everything I went through. And you know what I have to say about that? I deserved every bit of karma that I went through. Uh, every time I got jumped, every time I got disrespected, you know, and, and, and I had to defend myself, which ended up with me getting jumped out of numerous cribs, getting sidelined, lips busted, eye closed, nose damn near broke, getting jumped by 100 pot the eyes. I deserve all of that karma and more that I got, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and if I could take a time machine and go back and do it over, I wouldn't. Because I feel like, in a way, me going through that trauma between 17 and 19 years old, it helped me be the man who I am today. I really feel like if I would have scathed by and not had to do that time, that I just would have ended up in the Fed with all the other dudes from the hood that's still locked up to this day, or I would've ended up murdering somebody or attempting to murder somebody, and I wouldn't be home to raise my sons. No matter what I may go through occasionally with their mothers, I'm still out here free, you know? I wouldn't be able to have my oldest son for the summer right now like I do, you know? And I wouldn't change anything. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.